What is up everyone? This is me Mikil Sai once again back with another episode of Zero to Zillion. It's Sunday technically and uh, 10 p.m. in the night. I woke up at like 7, got ready by 8, hopped in a call with, uh, you know, one of my fitness trainers and uh, he kind of helped me, uh, you know, kind of understand where my body is and uh, where I need to go and we kind of set a few agendas there. So created a new workout routine and also have measured the body measurements and stuff like that. A uh, few important things, sleep, diet you know consistency in exercise i only worked out few times this week and that's not enough so i have a goal of working out five times this coming week and uh, you know we hired a new cook so the diet plan should also be fixed and uh, other than that you know the remaining thing is sleep i need to be consistent with my sleep schedule so though that was pretty much what happened then i had some time uh, as i woke up and got ready to sit down uh, get clear on writing down the exciting future i would want to live and uh, yeah, I think it, it is just transformational to sit every time and kind of dump your brain and, you know, get more clear on what matters to you most. And uh, yeah, I actually saw yesterday a Naval Ravkant's video where he was talking about most of the desires we have are not really desires of ours. We copy that from somebody else and uh, we might not even truly want that thing. It's just so crazy how we can't sit alone and not think about somebody else. Uh, you know and have our mind like steady for what we tru truly desire and you know not what other people want us to have or you know that that imposition of other people's thoughts on us but yeah uh, you know it's interesting so that's pretty much it and uh, I have my to-do list for today you know even though it's Sunday we're gonna rock and roll with a bunch of stuff done okay and uh, next week will be all about business and fitness that's it bye bye <laughs> That's a balloon by the way. That's it. There we go. Come on dude, you got a blast. No, it didn't get blast. guys what's up it's almost 3 30 in the night and uh, monday morning technically but yeah it was an interesting day i've had uh, some time to kind of talk to a few friends i have in dubai and get to know like a few important things which i wanted to know uh, personally before i actually kind of make a firm decision and uh, it gave me good context uh, you know it covered all the costs like living cost moving stuff which we need to go through you know it's crazy you know you gotta be physically giving like a blood test freaking blood test to get your company registered which is interesting you gotta have your emirates id there's a lot of things uh, you know like how you could actually manage your diet you know your routine when you're working in us timings communities around uh, best places to stay uh, everything like you know you could li like live sorted you know when you're alone like one person you know you, you need to like spend like 10k a month and uh, which was fine so you know i've kind of got a very good understanding and you know, I've kind of asked a few people and uh, I've seen like a pattern people who are roughly making you know uh, very less than what I'm actually making are also in Dubai so it's kind of an indication that so many people are actually going there again the biggest thing is not just the tax but the community the infrastructure you are living around and the mindset you could get along with uh, when you actually surround yourself with the right people so it's kind of a shiny object for me at the moment you know it's kind of the new shiny thing which I liked so far and you know i'm trying to kind of chase it uh you know there is like two sides of brain which are hitting me one side is like oh you know you could do work anywhere the other thing is like why not move to dubai you know is the other question i have so it's interesting debate which i'm making myself with other than that uh you know i've I found few people uh you know who i'm like learning new stuff from and it's interesting as well so yeah one thing i really learned today which can open up my mind is you can never make more money than what you believe you deserve so you gotta like really find things which will make you feel more deserving on why you should make more and keep your business growing otherwise it's gonna get complacent it's gonna get you know plateaued at a certain level and uh, i'm trying to learn uh, you know entrepreneurs uh, you know who have gone from one to ten and kind of track that pathway because I've, I've been in the journey of zero to one now it's time for me to get to the one to ten and actually attack it uh, you know and uh, do it much faster because i've got a lot of potential 
and uh, it's much easier to carry through when you have momentum so that's pretty much it for now getting back to work and if you're watching this and you are also debating if you should move to dubai or not that is like a simple math you need to look at you know how much more doors it's going to open and how much is it worth for you to open the doors so for me i like investing a lot in myself the community i'm around and uh, people who i could learn and grow with so let's say hypothetically if it cost me 10000 per month 10000 us dollars per month to live in dubai you know like living an extraordinary life uh, with the people who i could surround myself with and all of that jazz it's worth it you know i have no problem paying that price when i know it could open doors for me to open up like an offline podcast studio and uh, learn from people who already run multi multi million dollar companies and what not and one more thing is you got to understand like when i'm documenting my journey and when i do marketing myself when i'm actually living a lavish lifestyle which i don't personally want to showcase but indirectly when i'm living it there is no other option when i'm documenting other than to showcase it which will also help me directly in my marketing so you know it kind of can attract people uh, you know more overall because uh, you know that's how people actually perceive other people when they are like when you don't know the value of something you look at what they have attached with them you know which associates the value or increases the value like for me the awards are like the biggest value and uh, for some other people it might be the cars the houses the the girls you know and the gold and the cash what not so it's different for different people i look at people uh, and you know like learn from them when they actually have an amazing transformation and journey or something to actually add value as you know a concept or teaching or education or coaching in the world that's why i like but everybody has different type of patterns to pick their own mentor so like for me like as a business decision it's so easy to make why am i not worried uh, to like you know uh, ex- you know increase my expenses at all because i know it can pay off with the connections i could actually make and uh, you know like i'm just one client away to you know make all of my past to roi back so if i go to dubai you know i i put some reels out there every day i make some offline content outdoor content and uh, i do a lot of, a lot of physical podcasts and stuff I get like one twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollar client like I usually get. It's an absolute trade off. So you know it works. It is worth it for me. I'm not sure about everybody. So you gotta have your own map. The tax advantage doesn't make sense. Then better not move it. Otherwise, it will be a shiny object. For me, it does because we sell high ticket and we have a very different client over there. Our lifetime value is so high. So it makes it worth it for me. So make a conscious decision. Don't get into shiny objects. Hey guys, it's almost five thirty in the morning, and uh, you know, five uh, forty actually. Coming back, uh, I was thinking about interesting things. You know, like like why am I struggling with teams? Why am I struggling with operations? Why am I struggling with ca- scaling my company and stuff like that? So I've realized, if you got a skill, it could be any skill. It doesn't mean you got it for life. There is levels of skill. If you if you know how to make money, it's not like you made it in life. There's levels of making money. If you know how to run, it's not like you're the fastest runner in the world. There is levels of running. Same with anything else in life. So it's interesting that I kind of mastered like you know the seven figure level of how to build a business. Like I'm still thinking about like the zero to one phase. Like oh you know now I'm I'm good at that zero to one because I've done that. Now I'm tempted to do that again, again, and again, and again, and again. And that's why when I look at other people who are stuck at zero or somewhere in you know zero to one stage. I'm like, yeah, like this is what you gotta do, and it just feels super ridiculous for me, you know, overall. And because I've done that, I've been in that journey. But same when I look at like, you know, somebody who gone from one to ten, like I'm talking about millions, by the way, like one to ten million dollar or ten to hundred million dollar. I'm always learning. I'm I'm taking notes. I'm getting excited. I'm like, wow, this is some new neurons, you know, which are kind of <laughs> getting excited when I watch that content or learn from that mentor or get get that consultation call and whatnot. So I learned to build a million dollar team. I'm in the in, I'm in the trenches of learning to build a eight figure team and uh, it again what you build from 0 to 1 like can't exactly take you to you know 1 to 10 you got to restructure the whole thing and that's kind of the transformation I'm going through so yeah, do I know team building yes I do I could do delegate enough for me to make you know an extra million dollars a year but that's not really where I want to be that's why I'm restructuring the entire thing to get to 10 and uh, I just wanted to document this because let's say you learn ops that's that doesn't mean you learn ops forever <laughs> what level of company can you operate can you operate a restaurant can you operate a small cafe can you operate a, can you operate like a big marriott hotel i don't know can you operate a country you know become prime minister president what not so like operations have different stages same with sales when you know how to sell earlier i used to sell stuff you know with affiliate marketing back in you know 2019 you know on instagram dms and uh, 
I know how to sell. I sold them. Before that, in 2018, I used to sell some random shit, like, you know, some coins uh, on some 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 eight ball pull app or whatever the fuck it was. So it's just, you know, like I learned sales, like, you know, one after the other. One after, Now I know how to sell $100,000 retainer services, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 coaching packages and uh, all of that stuff. And it just feels ridiculous for me. I don't know how to close a million dollars deal. And I've recently seen one of my buddies uh, who sent me his closing video on how he actually acquired a company and it was mind opening. I was like, wow, this is how it's done, you know, and uh, I haven't done that yet, but you know, that's what it is. So you got to level up the skills and um, it's interesting to always kind of realize why you're stuck and deconstructing that is just transformation because the self reflection thing, I, I don't do that many times. And uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to kind of stop, pass for a moment and be like, okay, why are we stuck? I'm good at zero to one, and I'm always thinking in the zero to one mindset. I'm always thinking in the zero to mind system, zero to mind process, zero to mind hiring, zero to, you know, zero to one, uh, oops, okay. I'm good at zero to one, and I'm always thinking in the zero to one system, zero to one processes, zero to one team, zero to one sales, zero to one, uh, all of this operation stuff. So that's why I'm like, you know, plateaued. And, uh, you know, uh, that's why we got to like really get up, get upgraded, like learn the one to 10 thing. And that's what I'm really focusing on. And it's quite interesting. So yeah, pretty much, uh, I really enjoy learning. And, uh, for a long time, I didn't learn too much, especially in 2023 was more of a chill year for me. And, uh, yeah, we closed down the previous startup we started, uh, you know, we kind of paused it and we took a different direction there. And, uh, you know, I was focusing on this business, but again, I was having the zero to one knowledge and uh, I was just thinking in that one term, zero to one, zero to one, zero to one, what, how do I replicate what worked? But that only can work till that stage. And yes, you could replicate that success again, but is that the same path that you want to take is another question. And that's why we've been, you know, testing out agency partnerships at a different game right now. You know, our coaching business is a different game right now. Our software scaling is a different game right now. Our client success is a different game now. You know, the, the requirement of me hiring better operators is a different label now. The requirement of me relying more on my team uh, is, is a different game now. The requirement of me getting into personal care, you know, you know, doing my hyperhydration, you know, drinking a lot of water these days. You know, not just saying, but doing, but yeah, like many more things which are allowing me to learn more and you know execute more in the one to ten journey is interesting now. And uh, you know, understanding how to handle wealth, understanding how to handle companies, understanding how people have built great portfolios, and getting clear more on my vision because everybody comes from like a, a, a different place and they have a strong reason. And once that reason is achieved, like you know, the, the motivation which you which got you from zero to one, I can't really take you to one to ten. So you need to build a much stronger and much bigger reason. And that's why I'm working more on myself and the vision I have and what I need to accomplish and get clarity and get excited about the future I want to build for myself. So yeah, that's something I want to document. So I wanted to say myself, like when you're good at something, it doesn't mean you're good at that forever. It means you're good at that for a certain level. So there's always levels in any game. Just like how I'm good at team handling. I, I ran a seven figure marketing agency. I still do. Do I want to like, can I have the same experience and take it to nine figure level? Fuck no. You know, we got to change the things. We got to have different people. We got to have different processes in place. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm learning. And uh, that's why I'm also continuing to grow. And it's almost 550. I need to have some things done. And then I need to go and get workout. And my fitness coach has banged me in my back to you know, get my workouts done. So getting back to work. Hey, so it's almost 616, but you know, it's too dark in the outdoor. I don't know why, but I'll be going to the workout today. Once again, this is me, the Nikhil Sai, 19 year broke dropout, turn millionaire, and running my own marketing agency. I'm just showing behind the scenes on what I'm going through on a day-to-day -day basis on Zero to Zillion channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider like, share, subscribe, and comment and watch more of my vlogs on Zero Resilient. This is me, the Nikhil Sai. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.